right, here we go with another Mason Jar Monday. It's brought to you by Honor Credit Union. It's your money. CEO Scott McFarland in the studio with us. Good morning. Monday morning. You recover from Summer Jam? Oh, huh? man. What recover. a Summer Jam. It was huh? awesome. Oh, man, what a Summer Jam. Great music, <laughs> great company, oh. beautiful sunset. You guys can pull it off. Didn't we have fun? It was awesome. How about that crowd? I think the biggest ever. For a yeah, summer jam was, at the Shadowland Pavilion. There was very little walking the, the, room, but. Even in the, because uh, I was with the guys from Parmalee afterwards, and they were just amazed. Yeah. They couldn't believe the crowd. It was, it was like full. One of the biggest crowds for The hill, the hill and, was full. Yeah. And then I says, guys, there were another close to, you know, six, seven, eight hundred people in the parking lot standing back there. I know. And vendors back there in Austin. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you had the yeah. boats stopping on the river. The boats. Coho Bob. Coho Bob had his he boat was right out there. there. Yeah. Coho Bob knows how to do it. He knows, you know, he knows when when they get off where they're going to go back near the trailers, and he's got his boat right there. Got all figured out. <laughs> I mean, I think he got a picture with the guy. They wanted to go fishing with him. A little, yeah, a little sunset fishing trip. Next time they said with uh, Coho that. Bob, yeah. So thanks for coming out, oh. and uh, we, we threw out a lot of uh, Honor Credit Union T-shirts and, and yeah. the sunglasses. And, yeah, there's some yeah. gear out there. So I have, I now I think I have every color. That's great. Sunglasses well, from Honor Credit Union. Some new colors. Then. Yeah, well, I got the blue ones. Ooh. You know, I may not have the orange, so I got to get the orange for my bees. Good. Go yeah. bees. Okay, orange and blue. Because you guys are doing high school colors, we are. right? Yeah. I got my green and white for the shamrocks. There you go. I'm for the go that, shamrocks. So. Yeah. yeah. But, like, but these like are the nice world. sunglasses, too. Hey, you know what? They're awesome. They are, yeah. yeah the price was right, too, I heard. The price is right. Free. <laughs> Free. No, I mean, they're really good. And, you know, we were talking before we went on here. I was at the White Sox and Twins game yeah. yesterday. I had on. My Honor Credit Union sunglasses. Oh, so, nice. Go. Yeah. nice. Spreading the love Loving around it. at the uh, U.S. Loving Cellular it. Field. Awesome. So the Sox don't know, <laughs> know about the Honor yeah. Credit Union. They could have scored a couple more runs for me, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had on the sunglasses. All right, Scott McFarland, CEO, Honor Credit Union, Mason Jar Monday, Myth Busters, yeah. Common Financial Tips, and we have three to go over. Yeah, three yeah. to go over to keep it simple. The top three. Number one. You know, you're out there and you hear all these great advice and you, all the people telling you what you should or shouldn't do. Sometimes you just kind of start scratching your head going, huh, is this really true or made up? So, number one, cut up those credit cards. Well, that's a bit of a myth. Uh, credit cards are a great tool, as we've talked about with your mason jar. That's like traveling with cash, but it's safe and secure. You lose your credit card, you give us a call, and we shut it down and take care of it, get you a new one. You lose cash, guess what? It's gone. Yeah, yeah we don't get you new ones. So use the credit card, but use it wisely. As I tell the kids in the school when we're doing presentations in the schools, it's just like a hammer. If you bang your hand with it, it's a bad tool. If you use it properly, it does a lot of good stuff. So <laughs> don't be banging your hand with your credit card. Control your spending. Uh, make sure. And the other thing is having some credit cards out there for a one or two. If you do feel like, ah, I just can't control this. Give a call. We'll lower the limit. We'll control it for you. If you say, hey, I need a little bit more, we, we want to make sure that it's a budgeting tool and it's a convenience item, not something that provides an overspending. Having those limits out there, too, also can help your credit score as long as you don't get it way up there. So the trick with that credit card is you use it and you pay it off. But uh, don't cut them up. That's not a good idea. Don't have too many either. Number two, leave a buffer in your checking. Well, this is one of those things that uh, it's not a bad thing to do, but it can create a false sense of security. So, hey, I'm sitting there. I got that buffer in my checking, and I'm not paying attention to what's actually in my checking. Bad idea. So uh, everybody knows a budget is key. And in this case, you want to have your budgeted items in your checking. Honor Credit Union also has some great tools online that you can set limits and it will text you and email you that your checking account has gone below a certain limit or uh, something is cleared for an amount higher than what you said so check it out at honorcu.com stop in any office we'll help you get that set up so the buffer while it can it can be a good thing got to be careful false sense of security is always dangerous um, so make sure you're keeping an eye on that balance. Make sure that you know what you're spending, where you're spending it. Number three, uh, who wants, who, who doesn't like that great cup of coffee <laughs> in the morning? I mean, mine comes right out of my pot at home. So I got to tell you that right off the bat, but every once in a while I like to treat myself and I think, Oh, should I do this? <laughs> Skip the latte is the question of number three. Eh, no, it's okay to treat yourself once in a while, but huh, here we go again. It's that budgeting thing. So it is a myth. You don't want to just completely cut yourself off because suddenly you're thinking, oh man, I got to have this. I got to have this. And you find yourself spending at a time when it's not budgeted or not planned. So pick that day that you want to enjoy that latte, that coffee, whatever it may be. Maybe it's that, uh, you know, nice, cool 
coffee drink in the morning, in the summer morning. So stop in, get that, but budget it, plan for it. You know how much they cost. It's not a surprise. It really comes down to, so is it a myth? It's a myth. You got you to gotta treat yourself once in a while, but you treat it with the money you've put away in your mason jar and you pull a little out and uh, say, hey, you know what? It's, it's a good there day. Go. Yeah, good I day. have, I have the money. Coffees are I good. have the money for the latte when I want it. Right there in the mason exactly. jar. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's right there. It's put away. So it's really important that, again, you're paying attention to your pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters that make up those dollars that build for the future. So you want to put some money away, pay yourself first. Um, that is not a myth. You want to pay yourself first, have that money put away, build your budget, and uh, go have a great time. After all, it's your money, and yeah. you want to keep as much of it as you possibly can. So check us out if you have any questions or Want to know any more? Check us out at Twitter at, at HonorCU using the hashtag AskHonorCU, and we will uh, we'll get back to you. And if you have some ideas of your own, some other myths you want to know, you know where to find us, and we're happy to help. We love to talk about money. There you go. Scott McFarland, CEO of the Honor Credit Union. There you go. Mason Jar Monday Mythbusters, common financial tips. And you, when you were coming in, you, you heard the game. Uh, more and more men are, are wearing bracelets, so try to keep some money. <laughs> there you go. Uh, for the bracelet that uh, you and I are going <laughs> to go get here pretty I'm soon, right? I'm putting some in my mason jar this morning. <laughs> <laughs> my, my bracelet right, next fund Monday, is begun. Next right? Monday, I want to see a bracelet dangling. Hey, maybe your... that's the next honor thing is we got to get some, <laughs> okay, some bracelets. bracelets. They go along with the T-shirts, the sunglasses, and <laughs> so now bracelets, yes. Yeah, Another great idea from Scott McFarland. Woo! <laughs>